How's it going, guys? Today, I want to talk to you about V4, the new PC and mobile MMORPG. I wanted to touch upon one of the hot topics, which class you should choose. If you aren't playing V4 yet, the link's in the description, so go ahead and start downloading. You need any more convincing? Well, my Slayer looks a bit stockish, but let's ignore that for a moment. A big thanks goes out to Nexon for their support. After a painstaking research and panel with millions of players and complex equations, I've come up with the definitive, fail-proof algorithm to suggest which class is best suited for you. Disclaimer, this guide is in fact solely based on personal bias. There's no academic research or scientific method whatsoever to back up any claim of the sort. Play the game, get a feel for each class, and pick your favorite. Before checking the six available classes, you should expect a few newcomers in the not-so-distant future. As it happens with any good MMORPG, Nexon is planning on adding more classes to make the choice even more difficult for us. However, there are no official dates for these new fellows to drop on the global version of V4, so we'll have to wait before we can disclose more information about them. By now, you've had enough time to appreciate the detailed graphics of V4. The class intro animations are really cool and stylish, and the character customization options are more than enough to create a beautiful waifu. I mean Avatar. Kudos to the devs for not forgetting about body customization options, a feature that's often neglected when it comes to MMOs, especially on mobile, although V4 is also available on PC and with enhanced graphics. Different faces is one thing, but everyone having the same size and limb proportions is kind of a deal breaker to me. All for the sake of variety. I'm a sucker for a long range class such as the Gunslinger, and this was my initial choice. It's an extremely popular DPS class, and you can't go wrong with its dual-wielding attacks and high mobility, the potential for critical strikes being another factor to take into consideration. The Knight is another great contender to the top spot. Everyone loves a tank, and while you must stick to a female knight due to gender lock, this class is able to break through enemy ranks due to its strength and damage-soaking abilities. And it's great for anyone who wants to party with a long-range class. The Enchantress is your magic-based class, and one that isn't going to set the world on fire. Well, except for her stunning looks. She is a long-range class, and I could be tempted to choose her as a support class if the focus was on healing skills. But that's not her role. Pick her as a small cog in a large wheel, not as a class to go solo. A glimpse of the Warlord's Hammer should be enough to convince you of its melee DPS abilities, while it's great at dealing damage, it's somewhat slow and may hold you back in the long run. For a nice mix of power and speed, you're going to want to go to the next class, the Slayer. Piercing, smashing, and slashing away with his two-handed sword and one-handed blade, this class favors speed. It's not the easiest one to master, but persevere and you'll find a lot to like about its chainable skills. Last but not least, the Lowly, or I mean Boom Blade. This class may serve as an appetizer for the maestro since they both share the melee and long-range duality. With its axe-mounted cannon, the stylish boom blade is proficient in AOE attacks, but apparently not a fan favorite. And the results are in. My favorite class so far is the Knight, with the Gunslinger coming in at a close second. The first is a tanking class with great target damage, while the second is a force to be reckoned with in PvP. So which one's your favorite? And if you're not playing V4 yet, the link is in the description. We'll see you in the next video.